The content you're about to enjoy comes from the archives of The Best You. We're devoted to the very best in personal development. With a magazine and resources dedicated to inspiring and changing people's lives, at The Best You, we work with the world's leading writers and trainers on the evolution of the self and people whose journeys have been affected by their work and words. For more information, go to www.thebestyou.co. Hey, very humbled and very honored to have uh, another guest speaker that has supported us in quite a few expos who I've met personally a few times. And it was a great individual, a great humanitarian. And the, he's actually, well, his name is Jeff Hoffman. He's a serial entrepreneur. He's the founder of Priceline.com, Bookings.com, Ubid.com, music and film producer, worldwide motivational speaker, chairman of the Global Entrepreneurship Network. But apart from that, he's an amazing humanitarian, amazing individual. So Jeff, uh, thank you so much for being here. Uh, thank you, Bernardo. I always uh, love being with you and your community. No, thank you so much, Jeff. And uh, I've got to say that beard looks really good on you. <laughs> I don't know where I got the idea, my friend. <laughs> Jeff, uh, thank you. Thank you so much. You're, you're so inspiring. I, I, we should run the Jeff Hoffman Expo because it's just, <laughs> I mean, seriously, the amount of inspiration that you've given us there. Uh, I mean, we've got loads of questions coming in the chat, which I'm going to, I'm going to pass. I'm going to ask you a few. I do have a few myself, but congratulations. I mean, you know, uh, I, I, you just, every time, every time you speak, <laughs> you, you, you look, you, you're doing so many more things and, and involved in so many great things. Well, the, I, I say the same to you, which is why I always answer when you're the one calling me um, <laughs> to, to come help. By the way, I wanted to add something I forgot, Bernardo, because we're doing Miami. And you mentioned at the, at the, before the break that you were focusing more heavily on the Latin American community. One thing I forgot to mention was that, um, we have launched uh, through Jen uh, and our partners, a small business a, a organization called Hello Alice. We noticed that, especially in the Latino world, in, in the U.S., uh, small businesses, and we're planning to take this global, small businesses are not surviving the COVID pandemic. And they are in the U.S., for example, 91% of all Latino-owned businesses that applied for U.S. government funding did not get it. So we decided that we need entrepreneurs in every community. Every small business needs to survive. So we started our own grant program and um, we started giving away cash anywhere from $10,000 to $50,000 to save small businesses and entrepreneurs first in America. And then we want to do this in South, South America. But especially, like I said, we focused on the Latino community because their numbers were the worst. And I will just say, speaking from Miami, um, my friend and business partner, uh, his, he goes by a little nickname called Mr. 305, now Mr. Worldwide, but that's Pitbull. And some of you might have seen Pitbull and I on TV uh, doing a uh, public service, telling small business owners and entrepreneurs to come to us. It's COVID19BusinessCenter.com if anybody needs cash. But we are helping La uh, Latino-owned, Hispanic, and, and later uh, globally small businesses to survive this time. And unfortunately, uh, Pitbull couldn't join us today. I was going to have him come say hello, but he wasn't able to make it. But uh, I, I wanted to mention that we we salute you for, for stepping up your efforts to support uh, Latin American entrepreneurs and businesses as well. It is said that we live in a world our questions create. And it's true. Those that have succeeded in life, those that stand out, those that have made a difference, those that are inventing, those that are exploring, pushing the boundaries of reality are based on those that have asked themselves empowering questions. In my new book, The Question, Find Your True Purpose, I help you find your true purpose, find your legacy. For more information, go to www.thequestion.co. If you're interested in working with me, contributing, speaking at any of our many events, partnering or licensing The Best You. For more information, go to www.thebestyou.co. Th thank you so much. I mean, you know, congratulations with all the great work. Um, it, it's just mind-boggling. I mean, a, a lot of the things that you're obviously involved in with with the global, uh, the Gen Global and, and you know, the Global Entrepreneurial Network and Global and what you've done and, and how you've encourage entrepreneurs to come forward is is, is just uh, is just amazing i mean there's a couple of things that stood out to me 
when when you were saying, and I wanted to ask you, and, and obviously, kind of them, one of them is is, is become a problem solver. I, I think I think a lot of people, as you said, you know, they they just worry or focus too much on on you know, I want to change the world, I want to do everything. Well, you know, start one step at a time, one thing at a time. Become a problem solver. Uh, that 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 was great, uh, great advice. I think a lot of people don't really see that angle, do they? They're they're trying to see things maybe too difficultly, maybe in a in a way that. I, I think you're right on. Um, I am a huge proponent in the fact that simple wins. In fact, I, I, I teach these workshops called explosive growth, teaching people how to how do you how do you take a small company and entity and it hit that explosive growth where some businesses take off. And one of the things I focus on is I have a big screen that says win a gold medal at one thing. Just pick one thing and go crush it. Quit trying to do everything. Quit trying to solve all the problems. Quit trying to be everything to every customer. Pick the one thing you think you can really do best at and go do that first. You can take it from there. Here's a, you know, just a really visible but simple example. Because I had this conversation way at the beginning of the internet one day with Jeff Bezos before any of these companies were built. And Bezos said, I'm just going to figure out how to be the best darn bookseller on the planet. Then I'll figure the rest out. For years and years, he only sold books. So for the rest of you, go pick one problem and be the best darn something that you can be before you start trying to worry about everything around you. Make it simple. Simplicity wins. And then also doing it alone, uh, something that stood out to me as well. I, I really, I've actually been emphasizing that throughout the whole pandemic. I think a lot of people don't ask for help. They're trying to do it alone. And there's so many people out there, coaches, mentors, people that have already, you know, they, they've parved the, the path. I, I think people sure. struggle to ask for help. Absolutely. Uh, again, part of why I support you and your community. First of all, you've done that yourself. Your team, Alexandra and the whole team, your team has been fantastic. Everybody we've worked with, uh, your end. Um, to do business with you guys, but a team, none of us can do it alone. And, you know, when somebody once asked me, what do you think the, your key to success was? I said, the key to success for me was surrounding myself with people smarter than me and then just getting out of the way. Um, <laughs> so the day I realized, I'll just go get people smarter than me and then I'll go get them coffee. Uh, that was the day I started becoming successful when I started letting go and spending my time Finding people. Instead of running the business all day, why don't you schedule some days where you tell people, nobody call me. I'm going to go out and hunt for people smarter than me. When I bring them back, they're going to start running parts of the business and I'm going to start stepping away. Believing that you need to be in charge of everything is basically an inefficiency. You're slowing your business down. You don't scale until you can let go and you don't let go until you fight around yourself with people smarter than you. I 100% agree with you. Stop trying to do it alone. Reach out, reach for help. And again, you guys at Best You create so much great con con content in all of your offerings that that's why I'm always here as well. And hopefully to encourage more people to engage in your community because you guys provide a lot of that help that people need. Well, look, uh, we were talking yesterday uh, because, as you know, we're actually streaming live on TV. So we're on our channel, Roku, Apple, and Amazon. We're going to be on iOS. And obviously, all this content is there. And we're, we're, we're going to make, well, it's free. It's accessible to anyone and everyone from the comfort of their home and the future for us is TV. Yesterday, we were brainstorming around the idea of how can we really incite and, and, and teach and inspire people, but, but, but reaching hundreds of millions, billions of people. And obviously, that's the intention of television. And we were talking with, with some of the people that are there who specialize in, in financial independence. We were talking about coming up with ideas of shows. I mean, you know, when you were talking about the unreasonable group, about, you know, creating, uh, you know, water out of air or, you know, planting a million trees through, with drones or, or you were talking about, you know, creating milk. Th these are phenomenal ideas. And, and I love a lot of the documentaries, obviously, that Netflix create but i was thinking is as as generous as you are at, at, with doing and giving people things how cool would it be if we could find a way where we could say hey creating a thousand billionaires sorry a thousand millionaires in 365 days and then we could just you know <laughs> film that document that where we literally teach them skills you say hey look, look we're giving you the money but this is what you have to do with it we're going to show you how to invest we're going to teach you financial independence we're going to teach you how to you know to manage your credit those are the kind of things that I think is missing in, in TV in general. A lot of the stuff that you're doing, Jeff, is so – I hope you're filming it because it's so TV worthy. We do, for, First of all, I love your idea. Um, and for people listening that, that – remember, because I said it's not about the money, but let's be really clear. Being profitable is important. And the reason why is because of scale. When people say to me, I don't care about the money, I just want to help people. 
I always say, do you want to help 10 people or 10 million? And they say, well, 10 million. I say, then we better make some money. A scale <laughs> requires funding. So yeah. being profitable, there's no shame in life in making money. The shame in life is in not using it to help others. Mm-hmm. So we want to create, but we want to, what is that thing? Uh, uh, doing good by doing well, right? Yeah. So I agree with you. And, and you are correct that most TV content is a little focused more on the entertainment in many cases. If you think of Shark Tank, it's entertaining, but you have no idea what those people did with the money and how they built the company and if they built the company on things like Dragon's Den or Shark Tank or whatever. So content, the goal is not to make the entrepreneurs famous. The goal is to inspire someone sitting at home Absolutely. to say, man, if she can do that, what am I doing? I bet I could come up with a solution. So I really like the idea. And I agree with you that the media is a one to many way to inspire and educate a lot of people at a time. I think that's a really cool idea. To find out about my latest projects, get a free coaching lesson or download my book, go to www.bernardo-moya.com. Well, I think I was looking, for example, at one of these series of Netflix, which, uh, you know, they were featuring the ideas around the avocado and how it's affecting water, uh, you know, and, and literally people don't have water because of the plantations, because they're, they're privately owned. Uh, they were explaining how, you know, these bottle com- uh, water companies are literally digging water from the floor, bottling it, and then, you know, polluting the planet and making billions of dollars. And, and we're buying into it. Uh, and then, you know, they were talking about uh, all sorts of things. And then I said, well, that's all great. And you know what? You've given me information, which, have, in, if anything, has made me very concerned. I want to know what is the solution? What can we do? How are we going to do it? Who wants to help? And that's where I think we can really, really inspire, as you said, the younger generation. We And, and I know that they've seen this. They, the younger generation, luckily, have seen how much we've messed up the planet, what we've managed to do in less than half a century. <laughs> so hopefully <laughs> they've made a note and they said, you know what, these guys have really messed it up. So I love the idea of going and, and supporting they, and training the youth. Bernardo, they really have. And, and that's one of these. Some Sometime I was, uh, I was doing a TV thing recently and – I remember the woman, the the host, she said, uh, where do you get your energy from? <laughs> she said that to me. And, and I said, other people's optimism, right? <laughs> when I talk to young people and I visit schools uh, and, and literally even villages all over the world, but when I talk to young people that still believe that anything is possible and don't think the world's hopeless, they think that there's problems, but we could fix them if we work together. And these young people that don't even notice the color or gender of the person next to them. That's just somebody in their group that's working with them. When I see that, it gives me great energy and great hope for the future that there are so many people like that. There's a, there's a whole young generation. Sometimes somebody, one time, excuse me, somebody said to me, why do you spend so much time with kids? Why do you like them so much? And I said, because kids are just adults that the world hasn't ruined yet. <laughs> Unfortunately, um, Sometimes we, the adults, set, you know, lead them astray a little bit, but they don't start that way. Most, most, most kids believe in each other. They believe in unity and equality, and they believe that things are possible. So I just love spending time in that space where we can really give. In fact, I love to, by the way, I'll, I'll just say that I do have a, a website, jeffhoffman.com. Um, people want to, I'd love to hear what other people are doing. I'm easy to find. My email is jeff at jeffhoffman.com. And, that's the website. So love to hear of things other people are doing, working with uh, youth around the world, but they still believe and we got to enable them to do what they believe. Oh, I love it. Well, we've actually agreed to do our first Best Youth Expo. We're doing it in June. It's a global one. Uh, it's all under 20 year olds speaking and bringing inspiration. So that's our first one. We're doing a women's expo next year, which my team just heard this morning. Fantastic. <laughs> So we're going to be doing an expo for women to create awareness around, you know, uh, putting women at the forefront because God knows us men, we've also messed it up and we need to give more leadership to, I mean, look at the countries managed by women. Hey, there's the example. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, we're, we're, we're really looking, but I, I've got to say, Jeff, I would love to bottle in a, in, a, in a kind of like a format where we could really teach, inspire and help people, you know, to watch content that not only is educational, but is inspirational, that really triggers people to say, you know what, as you said, if they can do it, I can do it. I, I that's to exactly do it. right. And, that, 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 that's, that's, and that's where I think, you know, that's, that's where I see, and that's where I've always seen, the idea of the best you 
is, is, is to really encourage, you know, people all around the world to take action, to lead, to learn and to inspire from, from everyone that is inspirational and then go and do it. Go and do it. Best you, a better world. That's the bottom there line. There you go. You and I have been having that conversation and I look forward to continuing it into 2021. And again, thank you very much for giving me a chance to speak with the community today. Thank you, Jeff, as always. Very, very inspirational. I really appreciate you and your time. Thank you so much. Thank you. For more information, go to www.thebestyou.co.